What's up guys, welcome to Code Wizard, and today we're going to be talking about how to install Prettier in VS Code. So quick overview on what Prettier is. Prettier is simply a code formatter that will automatically format your code when you save a file. So you can see here I have this uh, test.js file with some code in here that's pretty uh, poorly formatted. So what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, Prettier, and when I save this file, Pretty will automatically format this code so I won't have to worry about things like semicolons, curly braces, new lines, and spacing, etc. Okay? So install Prettier in VS Code. Go ahead and click on the extension button down here. And once you click on it, type in Prettier. And it should be the first result. Let's go ahead and click on it and just make sure it's the one by Prettier with a bunch of downloads. It should have nearly 10 million downloads. Click install. And it will say this extension is enabled globally. Now, in order for Prettier to automatically uh, format your code when you save, uh, there's a couple of settings you have to set up. So go ahead and type in command comma, and that will bring up the settings. And the first thing you want to type in is formatter. Now, once you type that in, there's a couple of settings you want to look at. First one, default formatter should say Prettier. All right, if this is not set, then pretty will not be your default formatter. And the other thing, format on save should be checked. And this tells Prettier to automatically format your code when you save the file. All right, so make sure that's checked. And then the next thing what we can do is actually type in Prettier. And this will bring up the Prettier settings for the extension. Now, there's a ton of uh, settings that you can adjust. You know, you can set, you know, whether you want um, double quotes or single quotes. Uh, and, you know, for example, arrow um functions here include parentheses around a sole arrow function parameter there's a bunch of things that you can set and not, we're not going to go over all the settings in this video uh, but feel free to fool around with it and adjust the settings to whatever you want or whatever uh, code uh, style guide that you're following there is one setting though i want you to pay attention to if you scroll down you'll see a setting that says uh, prettier require config and this should be checked and it's recommended to be checked by the prettier documentation and all this really is is it requires a config file to be in the root of your project in order for prettier to uh, work it um, is very important to have because if you were to ever import someone else's code and this was not selected and you hit, you hit save it would actually format you know all the code to whatever settings you have in VS Code, so uh, that's not recommended as it would, you know, maybe your uh, the code you're importing already has certain formatting rules that it's following, and your uh, rules would basically just, you know, set everything to whatever you have in the settings. So make sure that this is selected, okay? And again, this just forces um, uh, you to create a config file in order for Prettier to work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of the settings. And remember, like I said, you need a config file for it to work. So if I were to save right now, this would not automatically format, even though I have it installed. So to create a config file, go ahead and create a new file in the root of your project and call it .prettierrc. All right. Now in the prettierrc, which is the config file, just put an empty set of curly braces. Now, normally you would see uh, settings in here for the Prettier extension, but because we have it installed in VS Code, uh, you can simply set, specify the settings in VS Code, and you don't have to put anything in here. But, you know, if you were to import someone else's code, they might have a config file, and they would just give that to you so you can follow the same formatting uh, that they did. So go ahead and for now just put a set of curl empty curly braces in here. And now if we go back to test.js and we save the file, you can see that it automatically formatted uh, the code so it's not uh, ugly as heck as it was before, okay? So that's how you get Prettier to work. And there's one other thing I do recommend, and that's to create a Prettier ignore file, all right? So do that, just create a new file again and call it .prettier ignore, all right? And in the Prettier Ignore file, you can specify extensions and files that you want Prettier to not format. It will ignore any file that you specify in here. Now, for me personally, one file extension actually I recommend is that Prettier ignores all um, 
HTML files. And the reason for that is because I find that prettier when it tries to automatically format um, an HTML file when you save. It kind of butchers it. Um, you know, you can you can test it yourself, but I find that it doesn't format it that well uh, for any kind of HTML file, especially if the HTML file is long. It's just, yeah, I, I, I just don't like prettier automatically formatting my HTML files. So that's why I have in here. So again, if you want to format, um, ignore a specific extension, you just put an asterisk and then put the extension. And you can look at the documentation to figure out um, what other things you might want to ignore, okay? But other than that, that's how you install Prettier. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching.